Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is the From the Depths Designer. And uh, this is part two of the uh, ICBM sub design. Uh, due to the scale, it was split into two parts. So this is just a quick intro. So um, if you haven't seen already, the uh, basic primary weapon system, the idea of the primary weapon system and the hull was built in part one. Uh, which I will try to link in below. Uh, there is um, time codes below if you want to jump to the relevant sections in this part. Uh, but uh, please have a look down there below and uh, hopefully it's all done in this next video. So see you later. What should we do first? Um, I'm thinking torpedo system because down here we have a nice little area for torpedoes just going to push out the front there and then let's just armor this side up so we uh, ensure it's not in any way going to be um, uh, taken out by an errant little missile or, or uh, such like so these are going to be um, the torpedo system yes we can get some rather large torpedoes yes indeed right so let's start this off with uh, what we're going to need. We'll put the ejector on any of them. Now these are going to be, how, how much space have we got here? Four, so you can, yes, we can, we can go quite long here. So let's see, uh, missile launch pad. Let's do the first ones. Now we've got a bit of speed, so we could go like this. Yes, put them all in one and then six ways all behind. Now we do need an ejector, uh, we need a few bits and pieces on here, we need an ejectors on the top, just to give them that little extra boost at the beginning, then we will need a uh, controller, where's the centre point, put the controller in the centre point, and uh, they're pointing downwards, there we go, that should fix that, and we'll put Let's see, we need an identify friend or foe over here, and we'll put a stagger and a good, oops, where are we? Good half second delay. We might actually increase that and have that as a good one second delay. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll put the controller over this side. Actually, I just realized because of the mirror line, that's all got duplicated, hasn't it? So let's just get rid of the bits we don't need. So don't need that, don't need that, don't need that one because we've already got one on the other side. Okay, so that's better. So let's just check, yes. Right, fire control computer just here. Uh, AI local weapon controller just there and we will put a transmitter. Don't worry about fail safes. Don't need no stinking or fail safe. There we go. Right, so let's see about these missiles then. Let's put this on here. Missiles, missile block. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got to go outside, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we're still not out, outside, 15. Okay, 15 block I think will have to be enough. I think of 15, this is going to be you know, just incredible size missiles coming out of this, uh, this, this little puppy. Um, we're not talking any sort of let's, let's, let's be conservative uh, loads of people say use four block missiles and I totally agree with them but that doesn't mean I'm going to do it myself uh, four block missiles is the most efficient way to um, build your ships um, they're quicker they're faster and they do the job very well me myself nah <laughs> I'm not going to do something like that. That's easy. Right, so we've got a lot. So we've got 30, 30 
30 <laughs> this is bigger than this these are these are not small these are big big torpedoes um yes uh okay right so first of all we need to make sure that these got these actually do move so um let's see we've got let's tell you about 10 propellers four five six seven eight nine ten let's give them five fins one two three four five and then about five fuel tanks all right that's good all right we're well, gonna need an infrared um infrared i am going to give these puppies some proximity one two three four five about there proximity fuse um they will need a one turn we'll take one of those off We'll see how much speed that we get. We might be able to replace some of these. I'm after uh, distance here. So let's, um, rather, rather than anything else, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, them, three, four, five, six, yeah. Let's try that. See how that um, does for that and uh, let's see we're going to have emp as always um some ex couple of explosives on this as soon as we've got proximity the explosives will work well a couple of explosives then the rest is all gonna be uh fragments uh facing upwards so we'll have one which is a uh, one degree normal so these are one degree fragments so then we'll have a, a one degree at, at, at 10 degrees then one degree at 20 one degree at 30 one degree at 40 if I if we are on testing if we find that um, these are going even further and there's a couple of things I've missed which I need to find space for so let's try putting um, a ballast tank there and we'll replace one of those with a regulator right so sign to all exit okay so first one on the outside ballast tank five uh, no we didn't have it set this one's going to be set at only one meter all right that's going to be the starting point and then each of them we're going to take down so that one goes down down to three meters till I get to the center five meters seven nine and this last one is ten then back up again so this one's nine seven five three and this one should be still on one okay so the reasoning behind that particular item is that uh, we had the problem when they were going to one of the ships where they were all you know, where they needed to hit was <coughs> too far down so they're all just going at the water level so this will make sure that we're getting a good spread of high penetration torpedoes all the way through the level of the ship and we might even do this for the 10 because in case it's even further down let's make this one all his fragments warheads go downwards i know it's gonna sound daft but we'll make sure this one actually shoots downwards for all of his fragments instead of upwards okay so we'll see how that see how that little puppy um workforce did i put a one turn in there if i didn't put a one turn in there i did put a one turn in there phew that was that's lucky otherwise i'd have actually gone through and done them again so we'd give them a test and see how much speed they've got i want them to do about um well at least a thousand i'd like them to do about two thousand if possible oh don't like that don't like that Let's, let's, let's find something a little bit better to go there so that's, that, that was ugly that's ugly I'll, I'll i'll sort that out a little bit later um yeah so go to about 2000 so that's the torpedoes done 
So what next? Let's have a look at this mass fire um, weapon, which potentially only gets used once, maybe. Um, slow to look, reload. Range, not too long a range. Um, let's think, let's think. Yes, I, I, I like the idea of this. I do like the idea. It's, it sounds fun. And I'm all up for fun. So let's just see how much room we've got. Now, we are, I've got to allow, we are underwater. So um, we haven't got to use all of this height. We can have them, A, we can have the, the missiles recessed a little bit. So um, we'll have them so that the tops of the missiles don't necessarily have to go to the top of the ship. We can also have them separated a little bit like this. We might need, again, some ejectors. So let's just start with this level here. So that's, let's just get, I'm just using this as a, as a marker point for how far out. All right, that should be there. So if we start our missile six ways, just there. And do a nice row of them now how many can we get so we've got the launch pad and let's just say we're gonna it's, it's gonna be a smaller missile so how many um, let's see how long a big bigger missile we can put on here one two three four five six six point missile yeah go for six maybe seven we we'll go for six with the capability of going to seven um, and then we'll put ejector add-on on each side maybe like that we could still do four do it like this And then the next one, but it would reduce. I think we're trying doing it with just two ejector modules on each on each row. So, uh, but we're going to have that will give us more because these are lighter missiles. I'm hoping that these will eject out uh, sufficiently, so they don't need quite so many eject uh, ejector modules. Right. Okay. We need to bring this back here. This is going to come most of the way back. We'll put a, a block up, a couple of uh, firewalls up here at some point, just to act as a, a gap. Now we need to allow, now okay, we could stagger these. We could be sneaky and maximize our, our potential by putting a bit of a stagger in. similar to what I've done on the other sections. So uh, there, there, there. So that's one, two, three, four, six, 10, 20, 26 missiles, potentially being fired all at the same time which is totally and utterly stupid, but fun. Yes, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this works. Now we're going to, um, whoops, a little low. We're going to have to, um, make sure that they have some of the required items. Uh, they need a good arming time before they, whoops, before they try and fire. Um, they also need to have, um, I'm going to try, um, I read something about using safeties. By putting a safety on them, it potentially can stop them uh, triggering on each other or being triggered by a LAM system and blowing them all up. Um, and I'm thinking to try that. I think that's going to be an interesting um, test to see whether that works. 
Um, so we're doing a lab and a new ship build all in one go. Now by the looks of it, I could, some of these, I could add extra ejectors on. Um, those that can, will. I might as well. Or, no. Or, or I can double up, I can make that a complete row. Hmm, tempting, tempting. Uh, no, I can't make it a complete row because of the um, other ejector on the opposite side. So, okay, let's just fill in the gap. So these are all going to have three ejectors, uh, which, is, which is fine. She'll so throw it up into the air quite nicely. So let me just um, fill in these and then we will um, sort out the missiles. So back in a, in a moment. Okay, welcome back, and we are now just have a look at these missiles. Now, I'm debating in my head whether to make them um, a laser designated, purely because that would reduce the number of blocks we requir require by three, um, but still allow us, you know, and, uh, and basically, uh, not by three, by two, because to make this work with, with an infrared, you need the infrared connector you'd also need a one turn and really you'd need a camera as well so that's three blocks whereas if you had a laser designator just a laser designator that's it so it seems to make sense to me to uh, go for the um, laser designator so we will put that in because we're going for it also means we're going to have precision the, 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 there's a good bad bit about this uh, the good bit is that uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm having double double thoughts now. Um, the good part about it is that everything would be going for the same block. The bad bit about it is everything would be going for the same block. <laughs> um, uh, so at the same time as being really good, that's also really bad. Um, if we did infrared, I could put a. Uh, camera on there and make everything go for random blocks every time which would also be a very good thing uh, to have so um, yeah one of those could be should 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 I shouldn't I type of situations um, 
at one point it's making a good sense at another time it's saying no let's just let's, let's, let's give the opportunity let's just see what we can get out of this missile we're going to give it a bit of a test now what we're going to do is just put in some air tanks to make sure this uh, thing doesn't totally and utterly sink first time we uh, go out there so we'll just put one um, somewhere down there which will get mirrored that's fine and then we'll put one in here in this room uh, doesn't really matter we we'll just put one there out in the back as well go on, you can have one down here and one it's no point up here at the moment because you're not really uh, this down here could have one in here that one in here just there that's just a little alleyway we we'll put some ammo production most probably in there and uh, we might as well put one in this room just up on the wall here a little bit doesn't have to be anything come on i'm having a moment it's because we have got to get used to is look at the target there we go getting the right orientation if you're not in the right orientation placing blocks can be a pain Okay, I think that's everywhere. Torpedo, uh, not worry about that. Okay, so that's most of it. That's, um, so now what we could do is also put a seat in here. Um, no, that's the main bay. Let's put in a chair. A little chair. For our, our pucky, plucky um, submariner and we're going to put a fire control in here as well a quick little fire control because uh no not two of them don't need two just one we'll, we'll put it there yeah you don't not to get confused then that way. okay so let's first of all let's try and see what we can put in here as a starting point um and what have we got is everything connected yes i think everything's connected so let's, let's just see what we're gonna get in here um for infrared first so if we said it's gonna be um let's see how far are we gonna get with this missile roughly i'm just looking back through some history seven looks uh, we could get reasonable distance actually with this let's just see what we get with one thruster one thing and full f four fuel tanks and uh, an infrared with a one turn and a safety that gives us three um, warheads so we'll have a 10 frame and then um, a, a large 90 so a little bit of everything um or yeah yeah why not why not let's let's see what how that does sign to all and we'll just see how this does now if i go into here i can now select there and just go i can't go um can i go like that um why is that, that uh, has that assigned to everything that hasn't assigned to everything it's not connected to a missile block or to the missile controller okay we've got a basic problem there somewhere um i'm missing some block or this is not connecting um these are saying they're not connected okay well all our six ways are connected so missile launch are not connected to a missile block okay let's let's take this out and try this one more time so missile control block if i go like that nothing so if i go like that connected to controller okay that suddenly worked let's go back to here this is the one that i modified i think yep sign to all yes that one worked okay let's just go and make sure i set the number one okay obviously something i did wrong there we'll set that to number one actually we'll set it to number two we'll do some little little fire tests just to see if this works number two there we go right okay so take that off at least we're floating 
it floats. Right, so if we were to fire at something like that, uh, ah, right, I might have to do the uh, follow them job. Where are they going? They all fired pretty damn quickly. Um, they got that far, which is. Ah, it's not giving me an AI figure. That's a little annoying. Why am I not getting an AI? I'm sure I've got an AI or, or two in there. Okay, let's go back to the here and just quickly put an AI in here. So we've got a marker point. By putting an AI in, if we go down here, AI mainframe. There we go. Uh, if I put that in, now go back to where those missiles fell in the water. Where did they get to? Now over here somewhere. They got that far. Okay. A thousand meters. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. Uh, we'll go with that then. Um, the only bit with them missing uh, is these haven't got a camera. So um, we can either leave them as they are or I could change that for uh, an infrared camera and set it to random blocks. That way it'll turn and or maybe remove the safety fuse, go without the safety fuse. But the fact that if I set them to random blocks here, uh, basically they'll all go a little bit separate so they shouldn't get clumped together too much. Yeah, okay. And I'll set that to 45 degrees. There we go. Swap to all. Okay, so that's our those missile system ready. Um, we'll just have a look at the this system as well. I'm going to set these ones up as well quickly, just as a test, so you can see how these ones fire. I'm going to set these up as number one on each side. I do have to remember before I save this to get rid of these. That's number one. And your number one. Okay. So, number ones, two systems firing over this way. That looks quite good and some of them are firing a little slower than the other ah one of them I did the uh, two ways on and one of them I didn't uh, but that's quite an impressive um, little launch system okay yeah I like that I like that I like that, although one side I did not do the um, delays, uh, the uh, these, I didn't turn these on up enough, yep. I quite like them when they go up there sort of like just slightly slower, I think that's quite, quite a good way for them to um, work in that regard. <coughs> Okay, missile system number three. Or this is going to be an aerial interception missile system, is the intention here to go in the back. Okay, um, we'll have a think about this one and then I will be back in a second. Okay, and welcome back. We're going to look at the um, air to or surface to air missile system now, and um, we're going to go with some of the items we learnt from the lab. So, if you go and go and have a look at the lab video for some areas, so um, for this is going to cover two areas. One is flying targets, and uh, we're going to try and create a missile system which 
covers multiple areas. So we're going to have high flying ships up to say about 500 meters. We're going to have fast flying ships uh, that are incoming up to say about 90 to 100 meters a second and then we're going to have chase situations for ships so possibly lo low ships um, around the 80 meters a second so um, the, the ships I'm thinking of are you've got like those Templar and the Zealot um, type ship which were very fast seaborne coming that they would tend to come in at you and then suddenly veer off as they hit or, hit their um, ranges on their AIs uh, so you'd have generally to get them either on the way in or try and chase they were about 80 uh, 70 to 80 uh, meters a second you've then got uh, aerial craft like the arrow which was just gen generally very fast it's a very fast play um, nicely built you know obviously uh, it's a fast plane which um, does well obviously high speed as the name suggests you know, as, as um, we're, we're going with um, so it does a high speed and comes in at um, you know quite high as well it's, it's it comes in about 300 meters and then I do know there is some planes which will try to bomb from quite high level so we need a, a missile that goes quite a distance as well. So we've got a number of situations. Now, going back through our labs, for speed, as an example, we find... Now, we're just going to do some testing quickly. We're going to use this to test as much as anything. So um, let's just build a simple missile system just to test the possibilities. Where are we? Missiles, uh, six-way connector and uh yes i mean this is not this isn't a final build this is just a uh, testing point at this time well move that up to somewhere else actually just for the moment oh, no 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 should be right. we'll put it there. um okay we'll put our missile controller on the end there there we go and we'll sort out staging and everything else later but uh, we're going to put that on to number three I think we're up to about number three. And then we're going to put a simple, uh, yep, we've got room, a simple launch pad up there. And if we put six six, that just takes us to there. So that could be our, our highest point with let's see an infrared um uh three thrusters a fin and uh two fuel tanks we need a one turn now all of these are just going to have one uh, we need target precision guidance they're just going to have one fragmentation warhead of about 10 degrees uh aim is just to take out a block and hopefully that block is something that is needed for that vehicle uh, quite simply um, that's the simplistic view of this right now we're going to have this so that uh, i had a delay of um i haven't sorted that out on all these missiles so this has got a delay of two no one that one and then the others have a delay of two we might need some more fuel let's just see how this goes now what we're aiming for this is this to go quite far um, and fast so let's just come out of here go to number three right where am i in relation to that missile okay let's just see how oops i know what something i've forgotten we are going to add some ejectors so we might as well try it with the ejectors in place Just to verify the speed there we go go over that way and if we go like that and then go into it 70 80 95 6 7 97 and about 700 meters okay so that could be our long range 97 meters can go high distance 
um, so you know, high target. Um, that's quite a good little um, uh, missile, that one. Um, obviously, we've got no thing. Okay, what I'm just going to do, just to get some ammo going. Uh, it's going to take a while to... Uh, reload everything but um, let's just get our mirror line going there we go this will just generate ammo we're going to replace it all this here with um, obviously the uh, engine but this will just get everything sort of trying to reload with without an, a requirement for an engine Yes, that's a, that's, a, that's a lot of ammo about barrels. You know, one hit around here, not good. Would uh, severely pee me off if I hadn't saved. And uh, that being said, uh, just before I um, uh, go anywhere. There we go. Right, okay, so we've got a missile there. Now let's see, um, could we get that uh, A? Let's change that the fins on that to a two fin. And... Uh, no, I think the one thing's okay because it's, it's, a, it's a thing. Let's put an extra thruster in that. So one, two, two, and then we'll put that on a three. So this is only going to last with three fuel tanks. We've got 15 seconds of fuel. So yeah, we might as well just get it all going. All right, let's try that again just to see what um, that does. If we fire over there and then check it. 90, 110, 110, but the range went down to 500. But that has got a good 110 speed. Um, the other option, um, so yeah, okay, that's that's not too bad with that sort of um, that sort of initial delay. Um, so that's our number one possible high speed missile the other one which we will do so that's a a possible uh, uh doer there um is just a four point missile so we just we just modify this here so this is just going to have again one thin some fuel tanks, infrared seeker, so it's just going to be very simple. Um, we need, obviously we need a one turn and we need a target precision guidance and we haven't got any um, items on there so that's no good. Uh, so it's going to have to at least be five points. Okay so okay let's, let's go for a slightly different one. We need the one which is the, what should we call it, agile. So one, two fins, two fins, uh, two fuel tanks, a one turn, um, infrared, fragmentation, 10. So this is more designed to be a, the agile, uh, uh, missile. Oops. Um, so this is one way of doing it. So we've changed the number of blocks. So we've we've changed this. If I fire this, so it's got basically the two fins will give it a little bit. Still got good speed. Ninety. It's going up to a hundred. Still got five hundred. Okay. Um, but my other way, I'm suddenly thinking, why, why don't I just do lots of sixes? And why has that done that? I don't know. That's, worse. That's a bit weird. Okay, we'll take that out, put that in, and then put that in. And we're going to do the same, but here, short range, short range. One, two, fins, three sets of fins. One, two, three. We're going to take the infrared, we'll, do, we'll put back on the infrared. There's the infrared. Infrared, fragmentation. 10 degrees, so the, 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 we're just going to change a few, not 100, 10. Uh, 
target precision and the one turn. So that's going to be the same on all of them. So the only difference here we've done is we've changed the, the fins for thrusters. And uh, we can see what the difference on this is. Uh, so if we head over that way, just to see it on it. So speed is a lot less. Not a lot less, but a bit less. Distance 600. Okay, that's fine. So, okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to build a load of six block missiles and then we're going to fit them with alternative... Um, we're going to have a, a set, set of different settings of fins, etc. So when they're fired off, uh, we're going to set them all to fire off at the same time, I think. Not at the same time, from the same controller at the same target. Um, but because they've all got different settings, some will hit, some won't. They'll come in from different angles. It will be a little bit more, not random's the wrong word, but um, yeah, it'll, it'll, well, random may be a good word actually. They are hitting different ways on the, the target. Um, and that way they'll have an effect. Now we'll, we'll do the same as we did on the other side. We'll stagger these. So we're going to have quite a few of these because we do need to, and they're going to be set for a fairly close range. How far back can we go? Eh, about there. One more. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get one on, on there. Okay, so then we could do another row, which basically comes here. Let's get my, my mirror line on before I go any further, Mr. Mirror. So yeah, um, basically we're going to try and just have lots of different settings of missiles uh, and yeah, actually I might separate them up we could have them set um, if I go like this take that out of there then put uh, missiles the missile controller there and then put the AI weapon controller just there it can actually control all three at the same time so three will fire at the same time and that way I can set up different missile selection categories all from the same controller this goes back to actually another uh, system I did previously we could actually extend this to control four um, are we gonna get another row in could we get another row in yes we could so I'm gonna go for a four-way so to get four, we're going to have to make sure there's a separation. So we're going to take this apart. And uh, we need to make sure that I've got a way through. That's fine. So now we're going to go um, uh, missiles. We need to first of all get our missile controller. So and actually, in fact, let's think about this through. The missile controller, not the missile controller, the weapon controller. The weapon controller could theoretically control about five, uh, well, th theoretically six um, systems at the same time. Um, I think I've done it up to, I didn't get 12, but 11 is, is, is I have done from one weapons controller. Uh, and it's all a matter of the height positions of all of the controllers. Uh, so yeah, actually we can do it from there, that's fine, uh, thinking about it. Uh, we need to get that one moved in there. One, two, that one's got to move in there. So bear with me whilst I just calculate all these positions. Okay, that's good. Now we have to be a little bit careful where we put these controllers. So that one goes that way now luckily controllers are directional it does depend where you have that um, arrow pointing so now I can put another six-way controller here here come down and then down on this row there we go and 
let's see, let's just make sure they're all A OK. Yep, OK. And then we put here, I've got to make sure we put this controller underneath here. Uh, here. Let's just make sure. OK, no, no. Don't need it that complex. We can put it there. And then put this controller facing that way. And that way, this one connects to there. This one connects to this group. This one connects to that group. So they're basically, we should now have five sets of weapons being controlled from the single, one single controller. Which is excellent, yeah? Which is a, a good um, use of a single controller. That also means it can fire five missiles at the same time as the uh, target comes in. So we're going to get a good use of the um, fire control. Now we might create its own AI here, which um, prioritizes um, aerial vehicles um, over air, over land. So we might just do it. The easiest way to do that is just put our own AI mainframe on top. There we go. And then we can add a, uh, a front and back card. Or I don't think I can, I've always wanted to try that. No, you've got to have a slot, just something to put it into. So we can do front and back. And then can we do a card target prioritization on top of that? No. Okay, let's try instead. Because that's of no use, we'll put that there. And then we'll put this card prioritization in there. And uh, we'll just take off the mirror lines temporarily while I remove those. Right, so this now ha will have its own prioritization where we can um, just give it it prioritizes altitude and speed and um, propulsions if there's a choice between a couple of them it'll go for the one with the most propulsion but that's it uh, so it's got its own AI that will continue to fire no matter what to a degree okay let's sort out now these these uh, missiles so launch pads so I have the center ones set to be um, the high speed we to get up there we might get up there let's, 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 let's uh, just try might as well use the full available use of uh, the system and then we'll need some ejectors because we are going to be underwater so we need to make sure we have ejectors on everything Okay, so uh, they're all set up. So let's just quickly set up these uh, types of missiles. So we're gonna start with that fast, high speed, but uh, not 
much uh, distance or um, what's the right word uh, agility uh, every, actually we're going to set these up uh, just uh, infrared and all the basics we're going to need on every single one of them fragmentation with a 10 degree and a where are we targeted and a one turn that's the same on all of them now I'm just going to save that under test and then we can load that so that's our that's got uh, we don't add, actually add a one more to that so let's uh, edit uh, yeah we'll add the the extra fuel that so we get that extra speed on that one so that gives us uh, up to three so that's going to be one two three three okay that's cool All right next one along would be our high agility so if we just do a load test load test edit assign to all the missiles and then we change this one by um, adding uh, let's see a fin in there and a fin in there so that's still got three fins and we do the same for this group load test edit so it's three fins we're sacrificing one each for a fin that's too many fuel tank there there we go so uh, that's going to be our high agility missiles and then ultimately you would want some long range ones just in case we've got something which is high or far away so it's a little slower but just chases not too slow but um, slower but its main um, part is going to be range so what we'll do is we'll just have two thrusters the one fin the rest is fuel tanks uh, that way it will still be pretty fast but it have that little extra range if it needs to be chasing down so we've got one two three four five we've got 25 seconds of delta v in other words 25 seconds of of thrust but we've got two thrusters that's 12 and a half seconds it will thrust for um, effectively so I'll sign that to all and there we we'll do the same on here load load one two fins and then the rest all fuel tanks assigned to all so yes it's not that nimble but it will go a little bit further than all the others whereas this one in the center as an example with four thrusters we've got 15 seconds of fuel uh, but with four thrusters that's four times the uh, usage so it actually it's used in three and a half about three and a half seconds so um, these ones actually I think I'm gonna set these all down to two because there's no point in having them at, at uh, three because there we um, it's going to use, be used in no time whatsoever <laughs> so um, that's why it's got such a short range right this one has 15 seconds of fuel again but it's got seven it's basically got seven and a half seconds of usage in in these ones so okay we've got a relatively good range of air-to-air -air missiles there so let me cover this up and that's the air-to-air -air system um, I've mostly split this video up into the various areas so now the next section I've got to work on is propulsion uh, cover this up propulsion engines shields um, and balancing so my first port of call port of call will be cover this up um, just give it a bit of armor uh, cover it up similar to what I've done for the others I will then um, sort out the engine um, I'm then going to balance the ship so that it sinks vertically and we can make sure it actually does sink as a um, as a ship as a um, uh, submarine so back in a bit okay just a quick um, talk we're just going to set up the engine I don't think he's set up 
directional on this engine yet no unfortunately so we do have to be a bit careful how we place this engine now we've got a couple of choices one is go for one big engine but i might try and go for two engines here in this space and try and have them slightly um, go close to each other I'm just going to have a go, a very simple design, but try and make it a double um, engine. So let's see if that's used. We'd need a uh, fuel block, carb. No, I don't think I'm going to get the room. I think we'll have to go for a wide, one single big engine, actually, unfortunately. Let's just see if we have the right way. Possibly not. If I put this cylinder in, does it connect? not connected okay let's change this around then connected okay so these are still connection specific and I might go for a very simple design we haven't got a lot that much height so I might go for simpler uh, small one We'll see how this works on power. I want to get a fair bit of power here because we're going to need some shielding on this. Um, so we'll do a simple triple. I'm actually just going to do this. I'm just going to try this design. See what sort of power we can actually get from just having lots of cylinders because there is something about having the more cylinders you have it's not strictly correct uh, it's, it's gamey <coughs> excuse me but the more cylinders you crank cylinders you have the, the more your engine increases uh, beyond which that which would be you would expect you know it gets exponential increase in power which is not correct um and yeah uh but hey if the game allows me to do it why not let's let's give it a go let's see what power we can get out of this engine so how many cranks have we got here we have uh 13 cranks okay let's see what we get right so we'll have uh superchargers every third what third one Uh, on, on the twos, and actually, no, that's every second one, but only on the twos. And then put fuel tanks on everything else. Just want to, this is as much as anything, just as a test, just to see how much power I can get out of this very simple design without any sort of real thought to it. Um, let's see, maximum power uses, that's 5,600. Uh, 5,600 for a 13 crank engine. I don't think that's that good. Okay. I think I can do better than that with a proper design. Let's have a look.
Well, that's a little vilification for me. You know, simple engine design, 5,600. Uh, my design, 8,300, same, well, 14 cranks rather than 13, but uh, still a lot better. Now, I didn't notice there's some guys that are saying they're getting engine designs in a five block build that have got some like, um, oh, I can't remember what it is, about 40,000 power in a 5,000 block build. We're already up to a 6,000 block build. Um, I don't know how they do that. There's some little way they use to get um, maximum power. It's a way of frigging the algorithm. There's a point at where the rate of return for the number of cylinders you've got goes exponential, um, I believe, but I haven't really worked out how to do it. But anyway, we're going to go with our little 5,000 block engine and I'm going to give it some extra um, uh, armour above it in case the um, upstairs um, missile system gets somewhat damaged. So we give, us, give ourselves a little bit more armour um, on this flooring, I think, just to be on the safe side because uh, you know these guys and their missiles, they sometimes get targeted and uh, have some problems. We're also, uh, because we know the computer likes to aim at the, uh, uh, the good old engine bays, we're going to give the engine bay a good bit of side armour as well, more than the normal. Hello, and just to let you know, Due to the size of this project and this video, I have uh, cut the final part into part three. So the final combat testing is in part three of the video. So uh, I will try to put the link below. If not, go to the playlist and look up the next part of the ICBM sub, part three. See you soon.